Now, Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives began a public hearing. The probe is over a laptop said to belong to Hunter Biden, son of U.S. President Joe Biden. Even before the proceedings began, the White House denounced the hearing as a bizarre political stunt. White House added that the probe is motivated by denial of Biden's 2020 election victory. The GOP-led House Oversight Committee heard former Twitter executives. The executives testified under subpoena about the social media platform's effort to limit discussion of alleged contents of the laptop of Hunter Biden. All of this happened two weeks ahead of the 2020 presidential election. Throughout his presidential campaign, Joe Biden assured the American people that he had never spoken to his son about his overseas business dealing. However, the details exposed in the Post article indicate that Joe Biden lied to the American people. Immediately following the story's publication, America witnessed a coordinated campaign by social media companies, mainstream news, and the intelligence communities to suppress and delegitimize the existence of Hunter Biden's laptop and its contents. The hearing marked the first public proceeding of an investigation into the Biden family's business dealings. Committee chairperson James Comer has accused Hunter Biden of leveraging his father's political influence to pursue lucrative international business deals. The proceedings focused on Twitter's decision to temporarily block tweets about a New York Post article on the laptop. Former Twitter executives say that they mistakenly believed that the New York Post article contained hacked material. It's a concern with these foreign interference campaigns that informed Twitter's approach to the Hunter Biden laptop story. In 2020, Twitter noticed activity related to the laptop that, at first glance, bore a lot of similarities to the 2016 Russian hack and leak operation targeting the DNC. And we had to decide what to do. And in that moment, with limited information, Twitter made a mistake. Under the distribution of hacked material policy, the company decided to prevent links to the New York Post stories about the laptop from being shared across the service. I've been clear that in my judgment at the time, Twitter should not have taken action to block the New York Post's reporting. And just 24 hours after doing so, the company acknowledged its error Republicans described the decision as part of a conspiracy to suppress revelations about Hunter Biden and his father ahead of the 2020 election. Former Twitter executives acknowledged that blocking the New York Post tweets was an error. They added that Twitter's decision was reversed within 24 hours.